Today I woke up earlier than usual, so I decided to head over to a coffee shop and get some more done on my new app. I don't usually start the day this way, but sometimes a change of scenery makes it easier to focus. And honestly, coffee is the best part of the day. The app I'm working on right now is called SwipeSoup, which is a photo cleaner app. Basically, you swipe through your camera roll, delete what you don't want, and keep what you do. It's pretty simple. Now, I know that this isn't a groundbreaking original idea. There are already apps that do this, but originality isn't everything. I looked upon Sensor Tower for this niche and I noticed that it's this app called Swipe Wipe that in the last 30 days made 1 million dollars. That's crazy if you ask me because the idea itself is pretty simple. Anyways, I wanted to share a recent achievement I unlocked that my apps crossed 1000 dollars in all time revenue. I started building apps in April and I was so scared to purchase that Apple developer account because I thought I wouldn't even make $100 to get that money back. But it turned over and I made 10 times more. It's not life changing money but it's proof that you can build something from scratch, put it out into the world and people will actually pay for it. And if a couple of small apps can do $1000 maybe the next one can do even better. For this app I want to try a different approach. Rather than focusing only on ASO, I also want to start marketing it. So here is the plan. Once this photo cleaner app is ready, I will publish it and market it on TikTok and Instagram 30 days straight. One video a day, just to see what happens. Because building an app these days is the easy part. We have access to a lot of tutorials, frameworks and AI tools to get something working fast. And the hard part is getting people to actually use it. A lot of apps sit there all the time with zero downloads. That's why ASO really matters. And for doing my ASO, I'm using Gastro. It's not sponsored by them, but it really helps me to find keywords that actually work. The app is pretty simple and my concept too, because I look for keywords with a popularity over 30 and a difficulty below 60. That way, I know people are searching for them and I still have a chance to rank in the top applications. I will leave a link in the description which gives you 20% off in case you are interested. Another thing that matters a lot is the reviews. I actually request them into the onboarding flow of my apps. The first bunch of reviews is huge because the app store sees that people are engaging and rating your application. That gives you a better chance to grow organically, even just 10 positive reviews can make a noticeable difference. And it really sets up the app in the first few days after launch. Another thing that helped me a lot was to experiment with the pricing. So, on my previous apps, I tried a $4.99 a week and a $24.99 year subscription. I even tested lifetime deals, but those didn't perform as well as I hoped. For this new photo cleaner app, I'm trying a slightly different strategy. $5.99 per week and a $39.99 lifetime deal. Pricing experiments are super important because even small changes can make a big difference in earnings and it's always interesting to see which model users prefer. Now, about the app itself, I'm keeping it simple. I could add the AI features or some extra tools, but for now, the priority is to ship something fast. I'd rather launch a basic app, test it and then improve it based on real user feedback. About the marketing strategy, I will make videos showing how the app works using good hooks like this app is like Tinder for photos or something like that. Basically, content that shows the app in action. People don't just download apps, they download apps that solve a problem and they feel curious about. I'm not expecting to go viral. Some videos will flop, some will get 100 views, but even small numbers add up over 30 days. And that's how some of my other apps got traction and contributed to that $1000 milestone. So yeah, growing an app isn't just about adding a ton of features, it's about making it discoverable and giving people a reason to download it. So you should focus on a lot on ASO, reviews and experimenting with pricing strategies. If you're interested, I will come back with an update after finishing this 30 day marketing experiment with a new video breaking down what actually worked and what didn't. But if you don't want to wait, I will also be sharing smaller updates on X. So if you are curious, you can follow me there to see the journey in real time, I will drop a link in the description for that. And I'm curious, what other app growth tips are you using? I'm always looking for new strategies to test, so I'd love to hear what worked for you. And the plan is to finish this app, publish it and go all in in the marketing. 
Best case, it takes off and I make another thousand or more. Worst case, nothing happens and I learn what doesn't work. Either way, it's progress. Because at the end of the day, indie development isn't about instant success, it's about building, learning and trying again. Each project teaches you something new. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and by the next video, make sure to ship fast and take care of yourself. Bye bye. <music>